in this video we're going to talk about oil conditions for the first part so this guy just put down a machine that you might not know what it is but it's an oil machine and it goes forward and back oiling the lanes and you're probably wondering why does the lane even need oil well a lane needs oil because in this example there's a lot of numbers but on the right is the lane in the blue all the blue is actually the oil so what that does is it helps the bowling ball go down the lane and as you can see this pattern particularly is 37 feet and a standard house pattern is anywhere from 40 to 45 or 42 to 45 so this is a considered a short pattern but there's a ford oil total which is 13.5 milliliters that's when the machine goes down the lane um towards the pins and then the reverse oil total is 11.6. That's when it comes back to the approach. And that makes for a volume total of 25.05 milliliters. So this would be considered a light oil pattern. And it would actually make the ball hook. Because there's, um, well the blue is the oil. And the darker it is, the more oil there is. So as you can see, it gets lighter as you go on. And then at the very end, where all the um, wood color is, that is actually where there is dryness. And that's where your ball can hook. So this dryness can affect your bowling. And what you have to do is maybe adjust your feet or use a different bowling ball um, to accommodate for this dryness. And personally, what I do is I would move to the left because that makes the ball skid or go down the lane further. And so there's a red line and that's somebody's ball, for example. And then there's going to be another person bowling or you keep on throwing the same line or somebody throws the same line. And that actually pushes down the oil. So this blue area right here is like oil that's been pushed down the lane. So this would result in you maybe having to move right or uh, changing your bowling ball or doing something to make your ball hit the pocket if it's going light or not hooking enough. And that's why sports shot conditions are so challenging, but I know you can do it. So coming up are four examples of oil patterns and you're gonna see them differ and get longer so this one's a short one it's um well short here are some few other oil patterns so you can check them out but if you need more detail or more time there's going to be a link in the description to find uh some oil patterns but let's hop on into my sports shot league 